this is kind of like a very interesting inflection point that we are like witnessing in the way software gets uh, written, shipped. Started back in like all the way back in 2023, 2022 uh, with GitHub Copilot coming out. Uh, first of all, bringing some of these advanced AI capabilities with tab completion. And very quickly in the last six or nine months, we have seen like autonomous agents taking off cloud code cursor, kind of leading the pack with going from a high level prompt to large scale code uh, feature co features getting um, built out quickly or bugs getting fixed and so on. Once the developers are hooked on into these systems, uh, hooked up into these systems, they can just go back. Like it's a habit forming. Um, there's a habit forming kind of products, very addictive, right? So I mean, I've seen like even in our company, lot, like a lot of the developers, like especially the junior developers, they, they don't code like the way I used to code five years back. Like now they're like really going to ask Claude code a question, even a simple question to explain the code base. They're not navigating the code anymore. They're just always defaulting to go to AI. Yeah, the barrier has been lowered. Like now what we're seeing is the earlier the barrier was like, you have to learn a new language. If let's say your company is using TypeScript, you have to first learn that or Rust or something, right? Now what we're seeing is like developers are now very comfortable, like even picking up Rust, for instance, which is very hard otherwise, right? And they're letting AI do a lot of the heavy lifting and through uh, AI generated code, they're also like picking up those skills faster. In a way, like we've seen acceleration in, in a lot of uh, areas, like especially with the junior developers, I've seen like a lot of these like younger uh, 20 year olds have uh, been very, very successful with AI compared to people who have been coding for like 20 years. So it, for them, it's like a bigger change, newer habits. Uh, whereas like by default, uh, all the new grads we hire and all, they're like much more like more accustomed uh, to using these agents, right? And they're also finding like innovative ways these agents can be used. Like I think one of the things is that we have seen even the model labs don't even know the full extent of where these models are more successful or less successful. Like if you look at this coding, like I mean, a lot of people are now like doing this plan mode, like cursor added that, like just to be more successful or writing markdown files with task lists. So like everyone's like building their like interesting workflows around these agents to be successful, right? And these agents are now running for longer and longer periods of time. Like, and also like describing their destination where you want to be is an art in itself. At Code Drive, we have so many developers and I look at their usage stats and in Cursor or Cloud Code, you could actually see how much they like doing on-demand usage. You will see like there are a few developers which are like really going gangbusters with, with AI usage while they, some of the developers are like still struggling and they did gap tab completion um, and then so on. So it's very interesting to see, it's, it's very lopsided. Like it's very hard to even tell like what makes, uh, like what kind of a trait you will look for a developer that they'll be good, like really leverage these AI tools to the maximum extent um, because that makes a, like a 10X difference in the velocity, right?